Hi guys, Chantal here from Nerdy Mama. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple keyboard lift. Let's do this. So basically what you need to build this simple keyboard lift is a single piece of wood as long, as wide, and as thick as what you want to do. And then we're just going to cut that out and get it ready to be a keyboard lift. Since this was a gift for my mom, my dad actually gave me the wood um, so that I could do this project. He was going to do it and I asked him if I could do it for him. Um, and so it was already in pretty good shape. He had planed it and everything, but it, he just kind of rough planed it and everything. So I had to go ahead and rough cut it, get it down to its um, about within an inch of its final length. But the edges weren't straight. I mean, you could see a live edge on one, one side. It just needed some cleaning up before we could just call it done. So cut it in half there and then came over. And again, one side was pretty well taken care of. He had run it through his jointer, um, but the other side was still a live edge. So I needed to trim that off. And it was so heavy, so super heavy. I was a little worried about cutting through it uh, kind of in just using a push stick or pushing it through uh, it just was so heavy so I actually had to go around to the side of my table saw to keep it moving forward and um, make the cut in one smooth mo motion and you can see there it, it really wasn't all that smooth I ended up getting stuck a, stuck a couple of times because it was just so dense Once I had the live edge off, it was time to trim up the other side and get this puppy square. So I went ahead and cut it down to the length she had asked for, which I, I think was uh, right at 27 inches. And again, I took my time cutting with the chop saw here because I, I didn't want to... It was just really thick and really, really dense. You can see those rings. Now, I thought that I would, because it had been rough planed, I thought I could just sand it down and be done. but you can see there in the right hand corner that there's this big old chunk that kind of bubbled up I, I don't understand it was warping a little bit been out in my dad's garage for a while but this was really a kind of a an odd thing so I tried going over it with the sander that didn't work out for me I ended up getting out uh, an old hand planer that my husband had neither one of us had ever used it he'd, he'd gotten it as a hand-me-down from his grandfather and that was kind of fun. Uh, we didn't we don't have we didn't have a planer at that time. This hand planer was all we had, and this was really neat. It shaved off some very thin strips, not strips really, very thin chunks, and uh, really just smoothed that out. It was it was just kind of fascinating. So I just kept doing it until I got the whole thing really really flat, uh, and this left almost no snipe, almost no perceptible anything that you had done this really just cleaned up that um, that warp in there Now once the hand planing was done, I went back to the sandpaper, and I know it looks like I'm moving really fast here, but indeed I'm actually going very, very slow. I hit all the sides, all the edges, I even rounded, rounded over the uh, top corners um, because I wanted that to be really nice uh, touch uh, because you're going to run that mouse over it. And, and I really just want it to be very, very smooth. So you can see here, this is that same spot where uh, I ran the planer over it because it had that bubbled up kind of warp happening and you can you can't even really see it 
now um, you can see where it's a little deeper but you can't see where it's actually bubbled up it's a very very smooth Initially, my dad asked me not to really finish it, but I was in love with this piece so far, so I decided to use a tongue oil to really make that pop, you know, that grain just come right out. And look at that. I am so glad I did because, man, that looks good. good it looks it just looks so amazing with that tongue oil on it and that's straight tongue oil nothing fancy I let it dry did another coat and then we were done man Oh my gosh, y'all, building that keyboard lift was so simple. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell. And you know what? Let's get you building a keyboard lift for yourself. Should be pretty straightforward, just like mine. You know, a simple piece of wood is all it took to get this project going. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, bye. You're just gonna need a piece of wood So, okay. I for real didn't even really think it through before I did it. I just did it.